Ripple vs. SE sealed documents set for public viewing. The CC has filed its opening remedies brief against Ripple Labs under seal, indicating a crucial phase in the ongoing legal battle. Prominent XRP community lawyer James K. Phylon announced the update, noting that the documents would soon be available to the public after redaction. SEC and Ripple Labs have agreed on a timeline to discuss necessary redactions, aiming for a public release of the redacted document by March 26. The protracted legal battle between Ripple Labs and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has resulted in a number of significant events occurring throughout the course of the conflict. This disagreement has been going on for a considerable amount of time. These incidences have occurred at a variety of points throughout the course of the fight that has been carried out. This is despite the fact that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has submitted its initial remedies brief along with supporting documents, despite the fact that it is considered to be personal information. The company that deals in cryptocurrency has shown interest in a number of legal actions, and these developments are among the most recent in a series of decisions that have been made. Additionally, they are among the various legal activities that have captured their attention. These choices were arrived at by a sequence of decisions that came one after the other. As soon as the process of redaction is over, the documents that were previously regarded as confidential will be made available to the general public on the Internet. By doing so, you will obtain an understanding of the stance that the SEC has taken and the potential solutions that have been suggested for Ripple Labs. It is planned to present information in great detail. It was she who, through a post that she published on X, was the one who made the announcement of the change. A well-known attorney in the XRP community, James K. Falan, was the one who made the statement. He was the one who made the announcement. Phylon has declared that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC and Ripple Labs have achieved a consensus regarding a time frame for the dissemination of these materials to the broader public. This information was provided by Phylon. They have scheduled a meeting for the 25th of March with the intention of addressing the essential redactions that need to be undertaken. Furthermore, on the 26th of March, they are going to present to the public docket a version of the document that has been censored through the process of redaction. The reason that this step is being taken is because it is in accordance with the requests for sealing that were made earlier in the week. In addition to ensuring that the general public is aware of these advances, these requests were developed with the purpose of protecting sensitive information without compromising the confidentiality of the information. According to the plan, Ripple is going to submit a sealed opposition during the month of April. This is going to take place. Both parties have supplied the protocol that will be followed throughout the whole of the procedure in order to redact and file these papers in a manner that is both straightforward and uncomplicated. This protocol has been provided since the beginning of the case. After the original submission that was filed by the SEC, Ripple Labs will then proceed to file their opposition the following month after the initial filing. Following the original filing, this will take place approximately one month later. To make this point more clear, XRP will present its opposition on April 22nd, while at the same time ensuring that the information will be kept confidential. It is planned that the parties will meet the following day in order to identify the redactions that are required, and by the 24th of April, a public version of the opposition will be made available to the general public, taking into consideration a method that is comparable to the one that is being followed at the moment, this is in accordance with the approach. This rigorous approach guarantees that sensitive material will continue to be maintained throughout the duration of the decision, but while at the same time ensuring that the public and interested stakeholders will have access to the procedures and arguments that are contained within this significant verdict, when it is finally handed down. Additionally, the Securities and Exchange Commission plans to present its reaction to Ripple's resistance in the same manner as it has in the past. This is an additional point of interest. It is anticipated that the redactions will take place on May 7th, and the updated version is expected to be presented no later than May 8th at the very latest on May 8th. As a consequence of this, 
This will take place after the paper was handed in prior to the deadline on May 6, when it was sealed. Due to the fact that these procedures have been carried out, the significance of retaining confidentiality with regard to specific components of the case has been brought to light. The complaint that was submitted after December 2020 is brought to light, and in particular, the confidentiality of financial information and contracts that are related with Ripple's institutional XRP sales is brought to light from the complaint. Within the context of this discussion, specialists investigate the likelihood that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC may impose fines on Ripple. There were allegations that Ripple had sold XRP to institutional customers for a total of $770 million without first registering the transaction with the relevant authorities. These allegations were made according to the allegations. The Securities and Exchange Commission CC, which was in charge of conducting the inquiry, looked into this matter and determined that it was a breach of securities legislation. Allegations have been made that Ripple has been selling XRP to customers who are institutional in nature. At the time that this event took place, the beginning stages of the legal battle had barely began. Because of the ongoing remedies phase, Ripple may be susceptible to heavy fines, which may have a significant impact on the cryptocurrency. This may be the case because of the ongoing remedies phase. These are the hypotheses that have been proposed by those who engage in speculation. These are the rumors that have been around for a substantial amount of time. It is likely that Ripple's on-demand liquidity ODODL sales could be categorized as securities, which would result in penalties that could amount to as much as $3 billion. Additionally, this classification would result in penalties. In the event that the ODL sales are categorized as securities, there is a possibility that could arise. On the other hand, there are a great number of different calculations concerning the amount of the prospective fines that could be given. A significant number of individuals are of the opinion that the punishments might not be as severe as the legal fees that Ripple is anticipated to incur, which are predicted to be somewhere in the neighborhood of $200 million. Not only does this decision have repercussions for Ripple's current financial situation, but it also has repercussions for the cryptocurrency sector as a whole. This is because of the fact that it has consequences for both of these areas. The findings may lead to the formation of new laws for the regulation and definition of digital assets. This is a possibility that could possibly result from the findings. These recommendations will be in accordance with the standards that have been established by the Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States of America. Additionally, stakeholders both inside and outside of the Bitcoin sector are waiting for new results as the parties prepare their redacted papers. This is because the outcome of the investigation is still unknown. The parties are currently preparing their paperwork, which is the reason for this. It is because the parties are now working on preparing their files that this is the case. The laborious process of redaction and public disclosure highlights the delicate balance that must be maintained between the preservation of sensitive material and the significance of maintaining transparency in high-stakes court battles. This balance must be maintained in order to ensure that the court battles are successful. It is imperative that this equilibrium be sustained in order to guarantee that transparency is maintained. It is of the utmost importance that this delicate equilibrium be maintained in order to ensure that the most advantageous conclusion is accomplishable. 